hey guys this is games on welcome to my channel so as you can see here we have a shadow war starting in just around five minutes from now and i want to show you guys how i actually do that but before that i want to talk about the mistake that most people actually make and think that their pve builds could actually work or the pvp builds could actually work in the shadow war uh, shadow war but that is actually not the case with most classes but if you're a demon hunter you are a core primary dude then it really doesn't make any difference if you try out these different builds as well but for the demon hunter i will talk about what are the best builds. but anyways i want to start with the necromancer here all right guys i'm going to start with the necromancer here and what i have noticed that most necromancer players actually try to use their pve builds meaning they will try to take their minions with them and hope that they can do a lot of damage but when you look at the sheet there they are not really effective and therefore i would suggest everyone to avoid all the minions in shadow war and try to come up with the build that does not involve your minions and also use rate so you can actually move a lot quicker then there is barbarian barbarian with the frenzy is actually a good option and on top of that you can use a berserk that actually help you cheat that and then you can also use furious i think that's the skill which allow you to run around real quick so you'll be able to catch the shadow war as well but i am no expert of barbarian so these are just some uh advices from me and what my focus here is to make every single class m to have more mobility meaning they can move around a lot quicker so they have the ability to catch the shadow immortal so that is for the shadow uh, i mean for the barbarian then there is a crusader crusader with the horse and a banner that he can actually lead it helps his party a lot i would ha i would recommend crusader to take his horse with him and the banner that he can actually move around with it is actually really helpful for the entire team then we have a wizard here i'm not sure about the wizard but one skill for the wizard is actually really good with his teleport having a teleport ability will help you uh, catch up to the sh immortal really good in shadow war and maybe if you use a channeling builds that might be useful as well because it does the most damage so you can actually try that or try to play along around with the wizard and about the monk make sure that you have the skills that actually allow you to stay alive when you're in the combat with the shadow immortal so you can stay alive and deal a lot of damage but i do not know much about the monk but what i have just i mean observed by watching him play with different players of course i think having a survival ability with monk is actually really uh vital so yeah go with something like that and i also have seen that most people think that gladiator tree is actually good to go with the shadow war but in my opinion it will only allow you to cheat that in like 210 seconds and you can only take the advantages once per shadow war which in my opinion is not worth it and therefore i would suggest to go with the mastermind or the duelist or both if you could in the party that you are running with so you can actually have some advantage there and for me as a demon hunter these are the builds that i am going to go with four piece v2 shalbas then i have this helmet here which allow me to use daring swing for three times and that is actually really good to catch up with the immortal then heart of vengeance is here of course chill rat mental which is also good but not really effective for shadow war but i have no other good option and pants for the smoke screen allows me to have one uh, 50 percent critical chance for one second buzzard on the wing is actually really good because 
one thing i have noticed that in shadow war most things does not go well so with the buzzard on the wing i always have my v2's urge activated and his helps a lot so i will be showing you guys this in the shadow war and how much i have done damage with just 1000 resonance that i just actually reached today and i have the chicken wings again yay now i'm, I'm happy but anyways let's get into the shadow war and i will show you guys how i do it and the paragon tree that i am actually going to run is mastermind because i already have my party all set up to join so we are going to get the full advantage of mastermind so yeah let's go oh yeah one more thing you guys can actually do that is to make sure that your ultimate ability is ready before you go inside the shadow war this actually helps uh deal some extra damage so yeah if you could do that all right wonderful we have someone in party who is using mastermind so i am actually going to go with duelist i will be getting the benefits of mastermind from the party and on top of that i will be using my duelist hair which is going to give me two percent damage just by activating 10 percent by activating skill and 10 percent critical chance this is going to be insane and the battle is just about in four minutes and this looks like may all right i wasn't expecting this to be zero this is disappointing come on guys when you actually up i mean register for the shadow war then show up this is no fun i mean come on zero not even the leader or any party member is here but anyways i'm just going to publish the video i was hoping for a good competition here but this looks like a walk in the park not even that it's just like stand and kill man what what can i do now but anyways let's yeah let's wait for four minutes and we'll do it all right the battle is about to start and this is not even a joke i cannot say this is complete disappointment <laughs> i don't know how i am i am going to show how to do this properly but we have to suffice but anyways he has some random npc mortal who is just going to stand there and get deleted but anyways i will show you guys my damage output with 1000 resonance how it looks like Uh, the light and all that effects for, for coming out from the npc immortal oh, he's standing in the middle now he just jumped and i'll stay at the distance i use controller And this is about to go down. Yeah. Not sure if I could show you guys anything here, but well, let's go and check out the damage output. And with the 1000 resonance and my pills, this is how much I have done. So as you can see, it's not all about the resonance. It's the kind of legendary gem that you also use. And for me, I have all legendary gems that is actually giving me core damage output on my primary damage, which is crossbow shot and i hope this video would actually help i was just hoping that we get a good fight so i can also show some mobility but i failed to do so but that is not my fault there we just didn't get a really good war or not at all it was not even a joke in my opinion but anyways i hope you guys like the video and if you guys have any question do let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys